Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We just got off the ice from another sturgeon scouting uh, day. Only 14 days left till spearing. We're on the home stretch, everybody. Uh, just like every other video, I just want to thank everybody that has subscribed in the past. Uh, anybody who hasn't, it's real easy. Just please click the subscribe button and it'll help, help us out. This one right here really likes it. Uh, now back to spearing. Um, Today we went off of Payne's Point. We checked out off Payne's Point. Uh, on the way off, I bought a club, a membership pass. Please support your local fishing clubs. Uh, the ice is good this year. It's a little rough, but it's good. But if not for these clubs, you would not be getting out on the ice because the cracks out there, uh, each seems like each club's got multiple bridges out crossing cracks. So please go out and support your clubs go I mean I got multiple different passes for different landings because it's cheap it's 20 bucks so I'll just support your clubs uh, also at Payne's Point I went and bought a bunch of raffle tickets um, please go out go out and get that I guess uh, I mean they Payne's Point's got raffle tickets for two saws at Wood Eyes and a saw at their clubhouse there um, so go go ahead and go do that too if you if you're into that raffle stuff like I am uh, now back to the spearing video or the uh, scouting video. Uh, I think we got some good footage. I uh, had Riker out, my dad and my buddy Aaron out. So uh, stay tuned and check it out. Clarity is key, right guys? Drop the cup down. Water looks awfully clear this year. Sitting in about 17 feet of water. Twelve feet. Let's see what we got for bottom. Right now we're in about seventeen feet of water. You can see roughly thirteen feet. Probably once you cut a sturgeon hole, you're gonna be able to see bottom with some siding or something on the bottom. Alright, we got a little bit of a different worm dipper today. That's a what is that, a three inch pipe? Yeah. And Flip it over so I can see the bottom. Same setup. My dad's is a little different, or a little. Frozen? Yeah, a little frozen. Sometimes when it sits in the truck, it freezes. Got the hinges in there. Same, same thing. Uh, you can buy them on the Sturgeon Spear and Buy Sell Trade info page. A lot of guys are selling them, or on uh, lip, uh, Ripping Lips over in Stockbridge, and I think the gas station across from Wentz. I'll leave a link in the description for some of that stuff below. Okay. Heavy. Like your second attempt here. First attempt last week was no good.
Here we got a good dip. So those of you that are watching that don't know, when you're searching for worms, worms are what on a on a nod shed year, worms are what uh, the sturgeon and the vago eat. Call them Winnebago Gold. I can already see a couple in there. How many are in there? One, two, one, two, three, three of them. There's a little guy right there. I got four. four. Five right there. Five. Oh, five. We're getting better. We do all the hard work outside in the cold. We check for worms, check for clarity. And seeing as how nobody in our group has uh, panoptics or live scope or hummingbird 360, we do her the old fashioned way yet. And this is kind of what you're looking for. These, we call them suck holes. Suck holes and tail drags is what we're looking for on the bottom. And then you spend the hardcore guys like us that are out on the lake all the time. Spend hours sitting staring at this thing waiting for a sturgeon to swim by. And so far today we've seen three walleyes and maybe maybe a sturgeon off in the distance. Yeah. This is set up I got sitting in the truck. Nice and toasty. Camera on my lap. Camera out the window, so we see a nice warm. Got Aaron on the other side, camera on the other side. Yeah, my dad way back, so we can cover a bunch of ground. And that is the gist of it. That, that is uh, the fun of st sturgeon scouting.